I never forget the day when my roommate asked me, what are you doing to your skin, Inka? It's improved so much. It's way more smoother. I want to do the same. And for someone who has a history of very bad acne and very deep facial scars, it was my sign to keep going and continue to see even more results. And I did. I'm very happy that I continued. Hi, I'm Inka. Nice to have you here. Today, I want to talk to you about microneedling or derma rolling. As you can see, I had scars, I had fine lines, and before this, I've tried creams, serums, facial peeling, supplements, and so many things without significant results. It all started to show when I started doing the microneedling. As you can see, my acne scars have nearly disappeared and I got rid of the fine lines around my eyes. Also, my skin is thicker, more elastic, and the color is more even. And it's getting better and better all the time because I still derma roll. I'm not done yet. So in this video, I want to break down this process. I'm going to tell you exactly what I did do specifically, what stuff I use to support the process and what you absolutely need to do if you start derma rolling, because if you don't do this thing, then you're just going to ruin your results and your skin may even go worse. But first, let's discuss how microneedling works, because it's very important to understand the process. So microneedling is one of the most effective ways to kickstart collagen production in the skin. Collagen is the main structural protein in the skin, and due to collagen, your skin stays plump, elastic, and smooth. After the age 20, your body becomes lazier at producing collagen. It happens to everyone. So body produces 1% less collagen each year after the age of 20. When the collagen declines, we start to see wrinkles, the skin is getting thinner, we lose elasticity, and it's even increased with things like smoking or unprotected sun exposure, lack of glycine, high sugar diet, and insulin resistance. So maintaining the skin is not a very easy and straightforward process, so we need to support it by our own habits and actions. So that was collagen, but what does microneedling have to do with it? So microneedling is a minimally invasive cosmetic procedure that involves using these tiny needles to create controlled injuries, micro injuries, tiny injuries on the skin surface. These little wounds triggers the body's natural wound healing process, which includes the production of new collagen. So I thought a good comparison would be a gym training. So you really need to go to do some resistance training or cause some micro damage to the muscle tissue so that you would see muscle growth. Eating healthy diet alone will not help you to grow muscles if you don't do the exercise. So similarly, you need to cause a little damage to the skin so you can see the scar healing and new skin forming. The scars with microneedling are so tiny, you won't see them, but you will see the ultimate result, which can include removing wrinkles, making the skin more even toned, improving hair growth, clearing out stretch marks, improving skin appearance, and so on. So now I'm going to tell how I did it. Remember, I'm not a dermatologist or a doctor or an aesthetician or any kind of skincare expert. I'm just a health advocate who's been on a long skin healing journey and got great results with Dermarol and want to share this. So if you're considering starting Dermarolling, I um, encourage you to read more about it and watch videos and know it by your heart and then only start the procedure. If you still feel insecure, you can always do it at the clinic. Okay, so here's what I did. So I started with 0.25. They are very, very tiny needles and they are not really improving wrinkles or making the collagen production super high, but they improve, for example, serum absorption to the skin. I used it for one month, a couple times a week, because I wanted to learn the process and I wanted to become confident in it and so that I would be stress-free and when I moved to longer needles, I wouldn't be like stressing about if I'm doing it right or wrong and that would improve my skin healing. Then after the one month, I moved to 0 0.5, which I used once a week for three months. I used it for the whole face except under eyes, uh, the eyelids, corner of the nose or lips or any thin skin areas. So basically I used it for the big areas of the face. After three months, I moved to 0 0.75, which I used about eight months every three weeks. And this I mainly used for the scars. So for these areas, 
where I had these holes and like the big lines on the forehead. I was very gentle with it. You don't want to push or anything like that, but I wanted to get a, a bit longer needles for the very deep scars. If you have very sensitive skin or you don't have deep scars, you can just continue with the 0 0.5. Sometimes I just use this or I use this for the scar areas and then I continue with the 0 0.5 on other areas of my, of my face. Until this day, I keep microneedling because the benefits seem to be just adding up. Let's talk about the procedure. How do you do it? It's actually pretty easy and simple and straightforward, but you may want to practice. And you start with cleaning your face fully with a gentle cleanser. You need to get rid of dirt and oil and makeup and you disinfect your face. Then you use pure clean disinfected clinical grade derma roller. Pull your hair back. You take the roller, choose the target area and you just start to do gentle strokes three vertical, three horizontal, and three diagonal. And you work through all the areas you want to improve. You use only light pressure. It shouldn't hurt too much. No pushing, no dragging, no back and forth. It's your skin and your ghost causing damage and wounds to it. So you don't want to tear the skin. You just want to gently insert this micro, micro damages or micro almost like holes to the skin, um, just poking it a little bit so that it would start initiating the collagen production. You can use nitrile gloves in your hand to make sure that everything keeps very hygienic. The hygiene is very important here. After you've dermorolled, you need to disinfect the needle by soaking it in 70% isopropyl alcohol for five to 10 minutes. Then you take it out, let it dry and put it back in the box. I usually disinfect the box as well. So what else do you need to know except the hygiene, which is absolutely essential? Equally important is to use pure, high quality, medical grade derma roller with real needles. Many products in Amazon have fake needles. It looks like this. Whereas real needles look like this. So they are individual instead of bound together. I've used Gin Amber Beauty Derma Roller for years because I know these are good quality. And now I also have a discount code for you, which I will put in the description below. It's also absolutely crucial that you use high quality SPF on your face and you protect your face from the sun. When you derma roll, your skin becomes more sensitive to the sun. And if you don't do this, you can cause hyperpigmentation and you can cause skin sensitivity and damage to your skin. And you don't want that. We want the skin to heal and get better and get more beautiful, not to get damaged. So protect it from the sun and use shadows as your benefit. Next, I tell about a few products that I think absolutely makes a difference with the derma rolling results that I've noticed after using several types of products and trying different things. So first is high quality collagen supplement. Collagen supplements have been studied for a long time and they have been shown to improve skin appearance and collagen production even if you don't derma roll. So I would still eat the collagen even if you didn't start derma rolling for the skin benefits but it really improves the derma rolling results as well. So the thing about collagen supplements is that you want it to have many different collagen forms uh, because if you only use one form, it, you might not see as good benefits as you would see in a multi form collagen supplement. At least this is what I personally noticed. I didn't see any benefits when I used this collagen supplement that only have one form, but when I changed this one that has five forms and added hyaluronic acid, elastin and vitamin C, I really started seeing improvement. I also use topical collagen, collagen serum and copper peptides, which improves the action of collagen in the skin. I've also been using red light therapy for years. So it's a light device that has red and near infrared light lamps. And it's uh, basically it upregulates an enzyme called cytochrome C oxidase, which then improves the energy production in the mitochondria and upregulates collagen production. Finally, just changing any harsh chemicals or harsh washes, anything to natural, clean, gentle skincare and makeup. 
clean product, safe, dermatologically tested, nothing fancy. Uh, I use just basic cream that has ceramides and hyaluronic acid. I also use the hyaluronic acid serum. I also advise to use clean cosmetics like Joyer, Ilia, RMS Beauty or other brands. And finally, eat a healthy diet and drink lots of water to keep hydrated. So one more thing that I want to tell you, because I also have experience from lasers. So I've done some lasers, I still prefer derma rolling. It's because although derma rolling takes more time to see the results, it's more sustainable, it's more gentle to the face, it's not very hard and it's simple and effective. I like simple and effective. With lasers, there is a long downtime. It's gonna make your skin super sensitive and super dry, depending on the laser, of course. I have only tried twice, uh, two different types of lasers, uh, but it still takes months and months before you can travel, be in the sun and live your life normally. So <clears throat> I think derma rolling in that sense, it's something that I like more. So as a summary, I like and recommend derma rolling. Your skin is so valuable. It's not only about wrinkles and beauty and aesthetics. Your skin is an actual organ of protection. It's the largest, largest organ in your body and it protects you from sun, from pollutants, from toxins of, of the environment. And you know, clear and good skin brings self-confidence also. So it has multiple benefits. So I hope this helped. If you like health and well-being, check out my other videos as well. There is a lot of free material there as well as in my Instagram, which I will link below. And subscribe to the channel so you'll get to see all the new videos that come out. Okay, see you next time. Have a nice day.